everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, is talking about how to map in data from the API into our UI in our iOS application. So, um, in this video, we uh, continue from my previous video that talk about how we make an API request from the URL as you can see. Okay. Let's go ahead to create together. And as you can see, this is the project that we built in our previous video. That is our code. And what we need to do in this video, we are going to build an application that shows the list of the book that we retrieved it from the URL. And when we click on the list, we will show the book detail that show about the uh, PDS preview file that we drew from the URL. Okay, let's go ahead to get to create together. And the first thing I need to do is uh, copy this to create a function. After that, I need to create a table view to list our book from our API. Okay. And after that, we need to initialize it. And then I need to full screen. And what we need to do is add it into our work view. And what we need to do is uh, implement two protocol. The first one is UI table view delegate and master net UI table view dot source. And we need to implement some uh, right here, some function. The first one is the uh, number of row in section, and the next one is set uh, for row. For example, I need return for row. Okay, what we need to do is assign our delegate. And now we need to register sub. to put the sand right here. Okay, here we go now, so let's get it done to see the result together. Okay, right here. Because uh, my simulator is using that mode, so. Okay. 
Now we need to list our book list from our AI. Yeah, as you can see, we have three books in our AI. So uh, let's map in our book into our table view. Okay, let's create a um, list. The data, data type is we are using this book. Now it goes to empty, and right here we need to return that that can okay. So. And now, what we need to do is we can put right here. Okay, cycle book equal to cycle this respond now. Okay, respond. Us for this uh, list book. Okay, now we have book into our arrival. So what we need to do is call this again. Okay, right here. And the other we need to put is book. Let's spot row Let's turn on Okay, let's be a gun to see the result Okay, here we go You can see right here Okay, why is this still one of these two? Okay, because it cuts it. Let's go down to our tunnel and delete it. And then it again. Okay, we are forgot to reload our table view. Okay, we need to reload data. Okay, let's see and run together again. Okay, you can see right here, this is our data from our event. But, as you can see, this is an warning. UI table view, your data must be used from website only. Okay, so how to fix this? We need to use this patch. 
cube dot main a synchronous mean is the we love you in right here okay instead of we will be done again the error will be gone okay here we go and now we already have three books from our AI okay and the next thing we need to do is create a detail view So what we need to do is import to the script to this PDF view and right now what we need to do is create a new label call we can create in right there as well and so we go to the view we go to this view and we need Initialize it and using frame, so you have frame and we need to assign it to all of you. Yeah, you. Okay, now what we need to do is uh, we need a uh, UR. So let me create a UR. Go to your string. Okay, then make it into so now what we need to do is um, check to the end of the document. We go to the document and put the URL there. And we put our URL. Next time, we need to assign our PDS to display mode to go to single continue. We need to scroll, continue scroll. So, another thing is auto scale. Auto scale, but sure, we need to auto scale. And then another thing is display direction one direction we need vertical because I want to vertical scroll and the last thing we need to do is um, document for the PDS doc right here okay and what we need to do right here is the URL so we need to create a rider and your string and the string and then it to empty and press it right here because this rider we need to paste from the main view controller right here because we need to click on the tab of view so we need a rider to pass the value into it and assign it to our UI. So let's get back to our view controller. And what we need to do next is uh, implement a delegate. We can say that select. This setup will execute when when we click on the row. 
and crew artist na may sabi the description so let's test it out Okay, let's like, click it. As you can see, the grid is secure. But make sure you assign this line of code. If you do not assign this line of code, it will not secure this missile. Okay, let's go ahead to paste our value to the next screen. So, what we need to do is create. Okay. And what I need to I need a navigation controller. And the red controller is the time controller. And now we have an operation controller. So um, what I need to do is present it. Okay. Let's present it. Navigation. Picture. No. And now we need to paste our UI by this thing like this. The time is here, the UI string. And set a tool to go. And we paste the link right here. Okay, let's bear and run together. Okay, let us to click together. Okay, it's a little bit slow. This is our navigation. You can just take it out just in that place and as well. Just tell you to see and grab it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna create a pie sample. Okay, so, like this. You know why it's not like this? Because we need to go to download this book. And as the download complete, it will show this book as well. That's why this book is very slow because the sign of book is very big. But this book is so fast because 
This is so small. Okay, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, you can comment below this video. And I hope you like it. And soon, I hope this video can help you out. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe, and soon. See you in the next video.